I went on Twitter today and most of the time when I go on Twitter, people are usually tweeting at me to give them a free computer or, well, actually that's the majority of my <laughs> But this time someone tweeted at me something very interesting and that is actually the OWO graphics card. Now when I saw this, I was just like, okay, this is a cool concept, a graphics card that weebs would absolutely die for. But I did a little bit more digging on this because I saw the box in the background saying it's an RX 580 and it's actually a graphics card for sale on AliExpress. This video is sponsored by Disco. Let me start off by saying I really like this software. Disco is a program that allows you to use multiple different cloud services as folders all in one place on your computer. Now, how is this helpful? Well, if you look at my desktop, I have a lot of crap <laughs> everywhere. So naturally, I take advantage of cloud services to help free up my PC. I have a few cloud services that I use, so it's a pain in the butt trying to open up a new tab every single time, logging in with different credentials, and sometimes I don't always remember the usernames and passwords, so it just ends up slowing me down. And that's actually the main reason I really like using Disco is because I can actually open the program and add any single cloud service I want and then I can have it ready to use right here in the program. Right now I have my Google Drive account connected, double click on it, all of my files right here in a Windows Explorer tab. And like I touched on before, if I don't have it in my Google Drive and I need to go to Dropbox, I can just add right here, it will open up an internet tab for me and then all I have to do is allow it and log in one time and then it's done. Now if you're someone like me that has a lot of files and needs help keeping things organized, I highly recommend this. It's actually been a great experience. And right now, Disco is actually offering a free three month trial. So if you wanna figure out how to do that and get it for yourself, go to the description, follow the instructions, click on the link, and you will see how you can do it. Thanks again to Disco for sponsoring the video. Now, let's get back to it. Now, you've probably seen AliExpress and some other computer tech YouTubers videos. And for the most part, it is a hit or miss website. <laughs> now this card is made by Yestin, which is actually a legitimate Chinese aftermarket manufacturer for computer parts, but there's still no way, not in hell, that I believe this graphics card is actually legit. Kitty. The more I look at the pictures of this thing, the more it screams absolute scam. I mean, you scroll down to customer reviews, there are not. <laughs> but you know what? As shady as this is, it wouldn't be a fun video if all we did was make fun of it. We're gonna buy this thing and we're gonna see if this ooh woo oh foam duzzle wuzzle piece of crap actually works. Okay, so first impression, I'm not exactly thrilled. This thing came dented af. And honestly, I guess I should be happy that it even came from China at all. I was surprised it took a month long shipping. It said it would only take two weeks, but it's here. Some of the boxing is kind of faded off with the silver print, but uh, let's just see if it's actually in the box. <laughs> oh my God, this looks so bad. Kitty. <coughs> I don't know why, this thing smells horrible, but it's here. And it's actually, just by feeling this right off the bat, it feels, okay, I was gonna say it feels nice. I'll be honest, this thing feels very cheap. This is like super thin sheet metal and the casing just feels like I could snap it if I press hard enough. Now, I'm not gonna, because I wanna see this thing working in its full and final form, but it's not bad. I mean, to be honest, this is definitely the cutest a uh, graphics card I've gotten to work with. Doesn't seem too bad. This thing really smells bad. Oh my God. Okay, well, we have a computer for this. We're gonna throw it in the system. Um, I have another RX 580 that we're actually gonna be testing this against because here's the thing. I really don't think this is gonna work. As a matter of fact, if it does work at all, I'm pretty confident it's gonna perform worse than an actual RX 580. So we'll see how much of a scam this thing actually is. Nothing from the card yet. Motherboard's lighting up. Oh, yeah, probably need to plug this in. Oh my God, it turns on. Oh, it has a kitty face on top of the card. Okay, so we have everything installed and the first thing we're gonna do before we run any benchmarks is just make sure that this thing properly reads as an RX 580. 
What I mean by that is every graphics card actually has a chip inside of it that does the processing for the graphics. So I wanna double check and make sure that what I paid for is exactly what came. CPU-Z says it's an RX 580. <laughs> so now that we have confirmation, let's run some games. Okay, so we have everything set to high setting except for the view distance, which is gonna be epic at 1080p. All right, so we're in. It seems pretty smooth. It's actually very playable and we're playing at high settings, 1080p. So I'm expecting to be stressing this card at least a decent amount. So, dropping down frames were consistent. Inside the house frames to be pretty consistent. We're gonna go try to fight someone and die really quickly and see if that makes it any worse. Oh! Hit him once, just hit him one time. Please, please. I didn't touch that man one time, okay. And just so you guys can see, 90 FPS is pretty much where we're staying at consistently the entire time we're playing. So Fortnite is behaving like an RX 580. So just off this first test alone, I have, I don't know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is actually a working RX 580 and China just makes some weird shit. <laughs> 206 kills, 157, two. We got a wingman and a Mozambique. This is uh, gonna be an interesting game. Truthfully, I don't really care about my teammates here. I just wanna go in, probably gonna die, and that's fine, but we wanna check the FPS. Right now on the ground, we're actually holding indoors, 120 FPS coming outside, drop back down to 80, 70. So the more we see, the worse the FPS gets, but it seems pretty solid at 80. All right, I'm going in, I don't care about my team. I can't, I knocked someone down. I'm gonna thirst you. I don't care who you are. Oh, I got a kill. Let's go. Wait, I'm not terrible. I touched lava. Help. And the last game we're gonna be testing is actually CSGO. Now, some of you might know that CSGO is more of a CPU intensive game, which means it doesn't necessarily utilize a graphics card as much as other games would. However, we're going to leave all of the settings absolutely maxed out because CSGO is an easy game to run and it will help utilize more of the GPU just so we see how much of a difference there's gonna be between this card and the regular RX 580. Right off the bat, I'm seeing around 200, 250 FPS. It seems pretty nice. Literally anybody, just kill. Just kill literally anybody. Yes! Okay. <gasps> Through the... Oh, I'm smurfing! So, all in all, Pretty good. I hate to say this, but I think it's an RX 580. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm actually starting to think that it might be more than fun. I'm starting to wonder if this card actually performs better than the MSI armor. As a matter of fact, okay, so now we're trying a more traditional RX 580. Now this isn't the MSI armor card that I had earlier in the video. I tried to plug it in earlier and um, it, it kind of caught on fire. Only a little bit though. Um, it's fine. I'm just probably gonna stop buying Parts off Craigslist. Okay, so I have the numbers here and I'll give you the red devils first and then you'll hear the kitty cat for Fortnite. We got an average of 93 FPS with a 1% low, which if you don't know what that means, it's just like a moment where the graphics card dropped FPS to its absolute lowest, was 22. The Kitty Cat graphics card actually got a lower score of 91 FPS with 1% low of 59, which means something might be wrong with this card, but whatever. Apex Legends, the Red Devil got an average FPS of 74 with 1% low 52, and the Kitty Cat graphics card got an average of 81 FPS with a 1% low 48. And then finally, CSGO, the Red Devil got an average FPS of 171 with a 1% low of 69. And the Kitty Cat graphics card got an average of 198 FPS with a 1% low of 158 
which means <laughs> that this card is actually it's that much better than the red devil which means that this is actually a better value buy than an enthusiast graphics car I I'll say this, on the off chance that you're looking to pick up a brand new RX 580, which I don't see why you would, there are a lot better options, consider the Yeston Kitty Opo graphics card because this thing, it performs well. And honestly, if you're a weeb, the weeb out dude, this thing actually works like moderately well. I'm ashamed to admit, honestly, you know, okay, that's the end of the video. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great time. I don't remember my outro. Yeah, goodbye.